It's always good to have a backup in life, especially when the power goes out. Gas powered generators can do the trick, but they're loud, emit smelly fumes and require a place for storing gasoline safely. They also contribute to climate change. Solar generators on the other hand are clean, easy to use, don't require fossil fuels and are becoming more and more affordable as solar technology improves. They can be particularly useful in emergency situations where other fuel supplies are cut off or difficult to access. Solar generators typically capture the sun's energy via stationary or portable solar panels that are sold separately, convert it into electrical power and store it in a battery for later use. We've listed the top five solar generators and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website validconsumer.com. Number five. Bluetti EB240 Portable Power Station If you're looking for a high capacity power station with a fast solar charge time, this beefcake generator is a solid bet. The EB240 comes with a built-in MPPT or Maximum Power Point Tracker that helps optimize the energy flow between the solar panels and the generator, allowing it to fully charge via solar panels in less than 10 hours. Granted, this is taking into account optimal solar charging conditions, but still, it's pretty impressive for the power capacity. Part of this fast charging comes from the unit's ability to accept a higher input voltage, 500 watts, than similar units, and the generator has a safety shutoff when input voltage is too high. The EB240 can be charged at home with a standard wall outlet, in the car and via solar, and has four USB outlets, one USB-C port, a car outlet, and two AC outlets. A unit with this much power is ideal for long road trips, or at home to power a refrigerator during power outages. We recommend solar charging for this unit as the included charger is the same as for Bluetti's 1500 watt hour unit and takes around 12.5 hours to fully charge using the wall charger. Number 4. Jackery Explorer 2000 Pro The biggest portable power station from Jackery, a leading solar generator manufacturer, the Explorer 2000 Pro offers a tremendous 2160 watt hours of power, making it capable of charging a full camping setup for a few days. When plugged into six 200 watt solar panels, an upgrade over the four panel setup available on the Jacker Explorer 1500, you can fully charge this portable power station in just two to 2.5 hours. That's less than half the time of the smaller model. On top of all that, it's extremely user friendly. Numerous output ports ensure that you can plug in a wide range of devices and electrical equipment. Its functions are highly intuitive and the digital display is easy to understand. Like other Jackery generators, it's incredibly durable too. The one potential downside is its weight. At 43 pounds, it's a bit heavy for its size. Even so, for all the power you can store and the rapid charging time, the Jackery Explorer 2000 Pro will keep the lights on wherever you need power. Number three, Bluetti EB70S. The Bluetti EB70S offers a high capacity battery, 760 watt hours, and an inverter capable of handling up to 800 watts worth of devices in a compact, portable package, perfect for everything from camping to keeping your critical devices going in a blackout. It's packed with output ports, and the two USB PD100 watts and wireless charging pad make it ideal if you want to charge mobile devices quickly. It's capable of handling most of your small device power needs, whether it's a laptop, tablet, smartphone, LED lighting unit, it has a built-in lantern as well in case you need to read at night, barbecue controller, mini refrigerator, or small fan. Functionality doesn't need to mean ugly. The rectangular unit with rounded edges and an integrated folding carrying handle looks a bit like an old school boombox and comes in four colors. Our testing sample was a bright bluish green. It's small enough along with a single panel to keep in a car at all times. The EB70S isn't just pretty. Under the hood is one of the least expensive solar generators on the market using the latest lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry, which charges faster, runs cooler and lasts longer. In theory, this unit will last a very long time, an estimated 2,500 plus full charge cycles, according to the manufacturer, meaning it should be there when you need it. At 21.4 pounds, the Bluetti EB70S is light enough to move around easily. The power supply for AC charging is a separate unit, further lightening the load. The DC inverter port for the AC adapter input and the solar cable is an 8A barrel type, used by several manufacturers, including Jackery, one of the most popular, so panels should be easy to find. 
For testing, as we didn't have Bluetti's 200 bot panel on hand, we used one of Jackery's 200 bot Solar Saga units, which plugged right in without any intermediate adapter cables. It worked just fine, so MPPT, Maximum Power Point Tracking, the converter technology that manages solar panel to battery connections, compatibility on the unit is good. The user interface is straightforward. One small button activates the four AC outlets, another activates the USB and other DC ports. Another button activates a front panel light. A small LED color display indicates input and output watts, along with battery capacity, which is displayed as a pictograph of a battery with five fill bars rather than a percentage. The battery management system on this unit is very simplistic, perhaps overly so. It doesn't indicate depletion or charge completion times. Additionally, if the battery is full or at a high level of charge and it's not discharging, it won't show any wattage input. It's information that would be nice to have, but given the overall solid performance, missing it is by no means a deal breaker. The unit was easily able to drive all of our variable test loads of 60 watt to 200 watt, and with a solar panel hooked up, our small 60 watt freezer never depleted the battery, even on days of mixed weather. With a full 200 watt load using dual 70 watt fans overnight, we could drain it in about three and a half hours, but this is a heavy continuous load for a small generator designed primarily for camping and short term usage. With the speedy recharge rate, even at about 50% efficiency on the panel, we could go from day to night uninterrupted for two consecutive days, running a 100 watt load without depleting the unit. The only time we ran into issues was after a day of rain with no sun at all. Number two, Bluetti AC200P Portable Power Station. If I could pick only one of the bunch, it would have to be the Bluetti AC200P, a power station that packs a lot of punch for its size. In a well-rounded package, you get a total of 17 output ports to power your gadgets, including the two ultra-handy wireless charging pads. With a power capacity of 2000 watts, this power station can run almost any appliance, including my fridge, microwave, toaster, and in a pinch, even a room heater. Thanks to the surge power of 4,800 watts, the AC200P has no trouble firing up power tools and machines with AC motors. The new lithium iron technology gives you an insane battery life of more than 3,500 charge cycles. This means you won't have to think about getting one for the next 10 years, even with heavy use. This is hands down the best solar generator to get as it ticks all the boxes. Number one, EcoFlow Delta Pro. The EcoFlow Delta Pro released in 2021 is similar to the Delta II in overall design and basic capabilities with the latest Life PO4 LFP battery chemistry onboard Bluetooth and Wi-Fi that let you access the smart battery management system via a well-designed app. There's an integrated power supply, MC4 to XT60 solar input connectivity, and an identical informative display. But the Delta Pro is a much bigger unit, and not just physically. The Delta Pro's base battery capacity is 3,600 watts, so if you're driving a 200 watt load, you can run it for 18 hours before depleting the battery, assuming there's no recharge. And if that's not enough, it can accommodate two additional 3,600 watt batteries connected with thick proprietary charging cables for up to 10,800 watts capacity, which begins to compete with gas generators. The inverter can drive up to 4,500 watts of load from its four 120 volt AC, six USB ports, three 12 volt, a 12 volt 30 Anderson connector, and a 30 amp 125 volt RV port. For most people, that should be enough to power even some larger appliances like a refrigerator or freezer, along with lighting and personal electronics through a power outage. Since it's a viable alternative to smaller gas or propane natural gas generators, you can buy EcoFlow's smart home panel, a transfer switch with a sub panel that lets you directly connect two EcoFlow Pros, each with up to two additional batteries, to your home electrical system and power up to 10 circuits. With all of that on tap, the Delta Pro is physically large. It weighs 99 pounds, though it has integrated wheels with a pull-out handle, so you can roll it, more like drag it, to wherever it needs to be. The 400 watt panels weigh just over 35 pounds each. As we noted with the Delta II, the 400 watt panels use MC4 type locking connectors and are built with a folding four segment floppy or flexible construction, which can be used flat or angled. They come in heavy fabric carrying bases, which function as an angular stand and use carabiner clips to connect to the panel. The 400 watt panels are more cumbersome than the 160 watt panel supplied with the smaller EcoFlow units, and you may need two people to position them when the stand is used. The panels are IP68 rated, meaning they can handle being rained on. And during the testing period, sitting out on our driveway for weeks at a time in the South Florida summer, 
they were rained on continuously. They continue to operate flawlessly despite the deluge. You can charge from solar or AC. The solar input lets you connect up to four 400 watt panels at 1,600 watts. You can charge from a 120 volt outlet, of course, but to fill this monster at high speeds, EcoFlow sells an Xtreme adapter that allows you to use a J1772 connector, like a level 2 240 volt, 40 amp, 50 amp EV charging circuit, to fill the 3,600 watt battery at over 3,000 watts. But that doesn't mean you can't overtax your home electrical circuit trying to AC charge it. We did encounter an issue where the power draw during 110 volt AC charging exceeded the capacity of the shared circuit, 15 amps, to which the Delta Pro was connected. It caused the breaker to flip. To address this, we isolated the device to its own circuit and lowered the AC power draw in the app to a more modest 800 watts, which as with the Delta 2, we suggest you do unless your circuit is sufficient to handle AC charging at the maximum draw. There wasn't a load we could throw at this unit it could not handle, including 1,800 watt espresso machines, induction cookers and hair dryers in addition to our lineup of personal electronics, fans and small appliances. To really stress out the Delta Pro, we used dual true 2 amp rated 24 inch under counter commercial refrigerators which had a peak draw of about 480 watts when the compressors were running at full blast both at the same time. In a continual consumption scenario with no solar connection for recharging, according to the built-in display and the app, as we were monitoring it, the 3600 watt battery on the Delta Pro would deplete in 7.5 hours and with a single external battery in about 14 or 15 hours with a total of 7200 watts. Adding a second battery we're extrapolating since we didn't test with a second battery would provide about 22 hours of continuous draw and that's without a solar panel hooked up. In real world use with only periodic compressor bursts from the refrigerators and twin 400 watt panels giving us at least 550 watts of continual recharge at about 70% efficiency during the day, we didn't tax the Delta Pro much at all. Similarly, using a 1800 watt induction cooker running a boiling pot of water continuously got us about two hours of total use from a fully charged single battery with no solar recharging, but that's not a realistic application. You'd use an appliance like this for only about 15 to 20 minutes at a time to make meals, and we rarely run it above 800 watt to 1000 watt for medium heat cooking. Practically, it doesn't make a dent. So did we max out the capabilities of this monster setup? No, not by any means and realistically your typical family running emergency loads will not either. Suffice it to say this bodes well for the Delta Pro's usefulness in emergency situations and at the very least it should be a good solution to avoid having to toss a fridge or freezer full of food after a long power outage. EcoFlow even sells a setup meant to address a particularly challenging situation. The EV charging adapter lets you use the NEMA TT30 30 amp 125 volt port with a grounding adapter to charge an electric car. Just be aware that EV batteries are really big so you can't expect to fill up that easily, at least not right out of the box. With the base 3.6 kilowatts in the Delta Pro, you only get about 5% charge on a 77 kilowatt battery or a 15% charge with 10.8 kilowatts if both external batteries are connected. With 1,600 watts of panels connected, you could fully charge your vehicle in a day or two, perhaps three, if solar conditions are optimal. But it's a bit of a stretch and you won't be able to use it for anything else. But if you're stuck in a snowy cabin with a pooped out electric vehicle, you should be able to get enough charge to make it to a charging station. So that wraps up our list of the best solar generators. Hope you found this video helpful and if so please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Let us know in the comments down below which solar generator you're going to choose. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helps you in any way please give this video a like and if you don't want to miss out on any future videos subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video till next time see you guys later.